Okay, what is going on everyone and welcome back to Star Crusade. Uh, if you have no idea what this game is, check out the previous video. I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch that one. It's about like a 25 minute video where I really go over everything on like what the game is, uh, how to play it so you get the general idea and like everything else. So once again, this game is a free to play game. Uh, it's a mostly a card game, collectible card game right now. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. And th in this video, we'll be pretty much opening packs. We have quite a few, and we'll just be checking out the cards that we can get. And then we might, if we have a lot of time left over, then we'll be making some decks. If not, I'll just make more decks in another video. So don't worry, you guys are going to see everything. It's just a matter of how long each video is. But with that said, Let's get right into it. So, as you may imagine, just a little recap. Um, if you have a pack, you get six cards in each pack, and one is guaranteed an elite. And after that, uh, here is the rarity chart, uh, going from regular to paragon, paragon being the most rare and the most wanted, essentially, just to collect. And, yeah. So, our first card is an elite. I like the artwork. It's very sh white and shiny. Permanently lose one supply and draw three cards. For four, for four cost, I'm not too sure if that's good or not. But we'll, it's always something to test. Um, adjacent units soak one. Not sure about that one. We've seen that one disable target unit. Okay, so we're going to be talking about high cost cards and the effects. Now, in other card games, usually the developers don't balance it properly so that high cost cards are, how do I word this? Not as effective, which is the reason why you see games or various games ending before like turn seven. And because that's the lower cost cards are usually broken good. And having a high cost card at this point with this effect is probably not that good, but I would have to test it a little bit more. And once again, it shows you what raced or what race or faction. You can use this card and the rarity. And we've seen that one. Did we just get two of the same thing in one pack? My god, game. It's going to happen a lot. So once we open our packs, I'll just try to speed this up a little bit so we don't like spend five minutes per pack since I have a lot of them. So, But the new cards that we haven't seen already, I'll give you my opinions and thoughts of it. And we'll see how it goes. At the end of your turn... Add one max HP to a random friendly unit. That could potentially be good, actually. Seen that one. Seen that one. Biomonger. For every enemy unit destroyed, restore up to 3 HP on your commander. And a commander is your hero, just in case you didn't get that. So... I don't think it's that good for six costs, but it might be a lifesaver, so we might use it. Always testing it. Ooh, that's pretty cool. We're getting a lot of hierarchy cards. So I kinda I'm actually interested. And another elite. Did we actually that's our first elite, okay. So right now we are at like a lot of well, I'm not really gonna count the elites, but in terms of rarity, we're at two heroics and zero paragon. That's what we'll start counting. Ignore armor, okay. Orbital citadel. Ooh, that's actually a kind of cool card. Gain attack equal to your weapon's attack. Uh, weapon attack like on your commander. I assume that's what they mean. So this is essentially a weak by start, but if your uh, weapons attack is high, it could essentially be a really good one. Shiny bobble. Draw two cards. If you have five or more psychic charge, draw four instead. Card draw is generally good. 
And we got in another leak called a drop pod. So shiny. Next! Alright, let's try to speed this up a little bit. We'll look at all the cards afterwards, and then we'll just... After we do that, we'll just look at the... Elite ones. Uh, draw a card every time you deploy a cyborg unit. Sweet. Uh, take control of an enemy unit with three or less. Oh, two elites in a row. Armored. Very good. <clears throat> oh, another heroic. Deal five damage to a random enemy unit. That is excellent. Generally, value effect cards are good. So, even if it doesn't have that much health, um, just dealing damage to an enemy unit is naturally above average. Ooh, that's cool. Gain one attack at the end of each turn. Probably not that good, but if it was like gain one health at the end of each turn, that would be excellent. All right, so we are currently at three heroics, zero paragon. We're not even going to count everything else. Um, conveyor. If, you're, if the opponent destroys your unit, draw two types from the same deck. Interesting. Your commander gains plus one attack and critical until the end of their turn. Weird. Teleport. We're getting a lot of hierarchy ones. Alright, so what is this? Permanently lose... Oh yeah, we saw that one. That was the card that I was questioning. I'm not sure if good or not. And as for our elite for this pack, so much lens flare. When a friendly unit is deployed, give it cloak until the start. Cloak is essentially stealth. Uh, that means your opponents can't attack that one this turn while it's cloaked. All right, so our elite targets support gains plus one. Nothing special there. Another elite. Ooh, circle. Choose a pacified unit and deal damage equal to its HP randomly split among all enemy characters. The damage is capped by your max supply. Dang, that last effect ruined it. 12 cost. No. So it's essentially... Destroying everything, but the damage is capped by your max supply. So I think up to like 14 split across random. Who knows though? That could have been broken though, <laughs> but you never know. I think we saw that one before. So right now, while it's in early access, they do have over 350 cards. And that's still a lot to play a lot of games. And pretty unique. All other friendly support units gain plus one. Huh. So they do want you to play a lot of support. And that's something we have to consider. Oh my god. We got our first Paragon, boys. Parasitic Thrall. That is pretty creepy, actually. Choose a target or an enemy unit when Parasitic Thrall is destroyed. Destroy it. Take control of a unit and then mutate. Gain screen. My god. We are currently at three heroic, one Paragon now.
So as of right now, I would assume you get like one uh, Paragon rarity card every like 20 packs. That's just a random estimate, but I got mine 20 packs in. That kind of got me excited a little bit. I thought I had another <laughs> Paragon. Impact. So when you play, play the card, uh, it does an effect. Your opponent does not gain energy from destroying your units. Ooh, pretty good. They really do need to make a way to just open packs faster. Like, you can't just spacebar open them all. You manually have to click it every single time. Um, unless we see something out of the ordinary, like, for example, like a 10-cost card or something with a billion health or attack, we're not really that interested. Red tape, return a deployed enemy unit to your opponent's deck. That's pretty good for a 2-cost <laughs> rogue. Sap. What? Um, alright, so next. Second Paragon, boys! Destroy a target armored unit. It's pretty good value. Abomination. Copy your target's unit text. Dang, we got a Paragon and a Heroic in one pack. Ooh. That looks like the demon thingy from Outlast. Not gonna lie. Spread effects to target units adjacent to its left. Oh, okay. Actually might be good. Switch the attack and HP of any unit. Also pretty good. Seen all those. Bloodthirsty Tyrant gain an impact. Gain impact. All friendly units gain mobility. So far, not, nothing really like stands out in terms of like what may or may not be broken, overpowered. Gain shield every time a module is activated. Eh. Pacifist. I assume that means it can't attack unless it's like dispelled or silenced. I assume that's what it means. There's always a card like that in card games. For every three points of energy, move a random card with zero or two to supply from your deck to your top. Ooh, that's... Card draw is generally good in games. And what is that? Destroy infected militia and deploy two zero three eggs. Oh, that's going to be annoying. I just know it now before even, like, playing that much. That's an annoying card. Another heroic, boys. Your massive units... Cost one supply less than, but receive minus one one when deployed. Not sure. Okay, so the way cards like this are played is when you pick a hero, you get to put them in, and it gives like um, a passive effect. So I gotta go talk about that a little bit more when we actually receive more of those cards. Target units get soak one. Okay. So, if you haven't already got it, half of the things here are futuristic or in space themed. Just to clarify. <laughs> got one of those already. Just saw that one. Another heroic peacekeeper. At the end of your turn, switch a random uh, position on the opponent's side and disable. Ooh. 1 1 for that. 
that's something I'm going to have to look at. Because it's not really... This one has a good effect. The stats itself aren't really important. It's more of like a one cost for that. So definitely something to be looking at. If only I could just spam the space bar. Let me just check something. There's like... No... You don't really need any keys to play this game. All you need is the left mouse button. And you're good to go. Seen that already. Another heroic. Deploy a 2 2 synthesis honor with screen. My god. Deploy 2 2 on a screen at the end of your turn. So, essentially, this costs 7. Stats itself don't really matter. It's really more of the effect when you activate, uh, summons a 2 2, and then. Deploy 2-2 two two at the end of your turn. So play this card, you get two more minions. That's what I'm getting out of it. That looks like Kerrigan. Not gonna lie from StarCraft. In a way. If you have less energy than your opponent, restore 5 HP to a target character. Might be good, actually. Um, this is probably as good as a screen card. Or one with taunt. So essentially, if you get enough like cards or something, or uh, collectibles, then you get more rewards. We literally just got that one. What was our... Deal two damage to the killer. What? Oh. So the person that killed that card gets to take extra damage. Just, no, just three elites in a row. No big deal. Oh, another one. Do we have that? I feel like we do. Restore 2 HP for all of your characters. That actually might be good just for value on the board. All friendly. That one's a good one for one cost. I feel like that one is going to be broken. And this one is a passive, as you guys can see by the cube. Um, you put that into your hero, or actually, this hero. Every time you deal damage to a massive unit, upgrade, or gain a card. Eh, I'm not too sure about that one. We just got two heroics, though. Your commander has plus one attacking. When attack units, you start with minus five HP. Interesting. Not sure how that is. Hierarchy passive. Units have plus one HP but minus one attack. Hmm. Interesting. That's actually something I would have to think about. Usually I, most cards I can tell what is what might be good and what isn't. Passivist, screen. Can't attack, but has a shield. So you're just like a wall of damage. Got it. That's a lazy picture. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of hierarchy passives. I feel like at the end of this, my mouse is going to break. My left mouse button is going to be like gone. Infected Militia. I saw a card that like gets a buff for just being that card. 
eventually you start seeing the same cards over and over again. That's creepy. Growth Chamber. Your massive units cost one supply less, but then receive... Oh, yeah, we've seen that already. Either that or there's another card that had the same exact effect. So we're at... I kind of lost count. We're at a lot of Heroics and two Paragon. Need more Paragon. That's a nice card. Shift priorities. For every friendly unit on the field, gain plus one supply until the end of the turn. Interesting. I think that's my second one of those. I'm gonna need two of them. Very good. Oh, that thing looks like the thing from Star Wars. All enemy units have minus one attack. Hmm. That's a very situational card. Very situational. Might use it though. We literally just got the same thing twice in a row. Well, good to know I won't need those anymore. Nothing interesting in that one. All right, we'll stop this video at 175 items or packs left. Unless we magically pull like five Paragons in a row. Nice, double frenzy. Drop part, seen that one. That's a cool picture, actually. 4-4 four, four for 4 is kind of okay. This is better stuff. Wait, what did that say? Destroy all... Destroy target unit. All friendly units take one damage. Huh, interesting. So you get to destroy an enemy target, no matter how good that is, but your friendly units take one. So essentially, very situational, but I think it might be good. <clears throat> Gain zeal. You know what would make this more exciting? If cards had like a 3D effect to it. Like make it even rarer. You know, just... What? Interesting. Gain attack equal to firepower. That could potentially be good. Arc attack, not really. Destroy a friendly unit. All friendly units gain plus three. So you sacrifice one, but then you get a lot of value. So that card could actually be game winning 
It's actually pretty good. That's what I think anyway. Oh, good to know I got the same thing twice right there. Create zero cost interphasic circuit card with text only this turn. What? Gain X supply. X is the leftover supply. Oh, okay. Interesting. I kind of wish that wasn't a paragon, though. I could have gotten something better. Let's do three more packs for this session. I wish it didn't stop once you get your elite. Like, you could just spam click it all through six of them, like how it stops like that one. A mix hound. I thought those are like. Mix hounds are like rabid dogs. That did not look like a rabid dog. All right, with that said, uh, we'll wait till our next thingy or our next uh, video to do that. But let's take a look at our deck real quick. Um, when we go into fusion mode real quick, we have a lot of cards that we can scrap, but we shall see. And it tells you all your new cards. And then your modules are, let's say, the passive thingies that you put into it. So we're going to actually have to... This is what I'm more interested in, aside from crafting, is checking out all the modules and see how we can do that. Melt all redundant. Yup. And this is our... Total scrap. Is there has to be a way to like hold on. Oh god. Oh god, it's broken. Oh god, it's broken. Hold on, let's go back and then go back in. Not broken, fixed, boys. Oh, it's Oh, we can't do that. Didn't, wasn't there a background? Oh, it's going to be a while before we do that. Alright, let's go back to our neutral set. And make sure all the news are gone. Okay, so... We're going to be creating a new one soon. And this is our scrap total. Um, let's see. I assume. And then if we wanted to create it, this is our total like scrap. It costs 25 to create. But we have a ton of packs. We're not going to be doing that just yet. Uh, whatever we don't have at the end, then I assume we'll be doing that. But with that said, hope you enjoyed the first episode of my pack opening. If you did, be sure to drop a like on the video. If you didn't, give it a dislike and let me know how I can improve in the future. And with that said, thanks for watching.